Fine, welcome back. So now that you know why you might want to use Express, now we're talking about how to set it up. I will use Express Generator to kind of quickly create my Express project. This is an NPM module which you can install, which will, well, set us up a default folder structure with Node.js Express, um, already set up the templating engine, use some example routes so that we can really get started developing right away. And it's very easy to set up. To get started, first we'll install Express Generator. So I will do this using sudo npm, and on Windows you don't need sudo in front. Install minus g and then Express Generator. Now, well, this will install it and went pretty fast here because I already got it. And now we're good to go. Now we get this Express Generator installed and available. Now with this generator, we are able to, well, generate Express projects. So to do this, I'm now here in my, well, in my Node.js folder, but this is just where I, well, kind of collect all Node.js projects for this course. Here, oops, in the root folder, in the basics folder, so wherever you want to create your Express project, I then type Express, this is the express generator and then just the name of, of the folder of the project. In this case, since I'm numbering this, this will be just um, 05 express first app. Now, this is already finished now and now it refreshed and you can see it installed or it created all these folders and files here. This app.js file here, this fuse folder routes public bin. So in a binary folder, this www folder, uh, file here, this JavaScript file, is our server basically. Now it has a bit more information in it, but here you can see we're creating our server and well, we're also listening, but this is handled through Express. So we no longer have to create server, listen 8000, but it is done through um, Express here. But in the end, in this file, the server is created. Here, the port is configured 3000. I will change this to 8000 right away because 3000 would not work on my machine. I'm using this for another, uh, for Angular. So this is the server file. And this is the whole project Express Generator created for us. Now that I changed this port, um, we're almost ready. But there's one important thing missing. We need to run npm install to install all the dependency, this dependencies this project needs. They are listed in this package.json file. And currently we don't have this node modules folder which would hold these dependencies because Express Generator does not automatically do this. So here all we do is inside this folder, so I'm going to cd into it, I run npm install, now without g or anything else, just installing everything specified in this package.json file here. So this might take a while and well, okay, now it's finished and now you will see that we got this node modules folder holding all the dependencies needed for this project. So with this, we're pretty much ready to go and now we can just run this www file with node.js. So we can either type node bin www. Now we got a working server. Another way to start our server is running npm start in the terminal when inside this, well, express project folder here. Because in our package.json, this start script is set up to do what we did manually a second ago, just run node bin www. Well, enough of the talking. Let's have a look at this. Reload this page. And now you can see Express. Welcome to Express. This means it works and it is now set up successfully. The next video will dive a little bit deeper into all the files it created at the structure we have at hand. See you there. Bye.